guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be dyeing Melo's ears so we are not going to be dyeing his tail just yet because it is still purple it still has some purple in it and I'm trying to get the purple out so what I'm using to get the purple out is dish soap mixed with baking soda baking soda and dish soap help light in color and this is safe for dogs to use so I am trying to get this purple out because we are going to be dyeing him rainbow. So here we have all the colors of the rainbow. We use the Crazy Liberty dye. So we are eventually going to be dyeing his tail rainbow colored, but first I wanna to try to get that purple out to make it pop as much. It doesn't have to be completely out. I just need to get some of these darker colored purple strands out. And I've been washing his tail a couple of times a week just to lighten it. So hopefully we can get that out, but we are going to be doing his ears, which we've never done his ears before, so that's gonna be fun. So first step we're going to do is make sure his ears are nice and brushed out, get any knots that are around them. Just brush his ears out, just to make sure that the color gets dyed evenly around his ears and not patchy due to coloring. Oh no, I think it's about Porch. So we're doing this on the porch because it is raining, so we're going to add some yellow. Red. Here we got my orange. green and then blue and then for purple we are going to do a mixture of blue and red to get that purpley color so we are going to use the end of this brush just to get a purple color So that's the purple color. So now that we have all the colors, we're going to go ahead and start dyeing. So I'm gonna actually start with the yellow. The reason I'm starting with yellow is that way none of the other colors bleed or mess up the yellow.
So here we got one ear done. Now we just have to do the second ear and then we'll go ahead and rinse it out. And if I need to touch up the yellow, I will just to get it a little bit more brighter, but this is what it looks like so far. Super happy with it. We're just gonna go ahead and do the other one. Here are his ears. So that's the one ear. Oh, no, stay. And here is the other one. So it is a rainbow. So this is like the first dye that I did. So I think I'm gonna have to go over it and just kind of fix up the yellow because the orange did get into the yellow a little bit and get the edges. But it looks pretty good. This side turned out really nice. So that is the first time we dyed his ears. Again, I might have to fix it up a little bit, but he looks really cute with his little rainbow ears. And then his tail, I tried baking soda and dish soap to lighten it, which it does seem a little bit lighter, but not by much. So what we are going to do, since I can't seem to get this purple out, is we are going to test strip it to see if the dye will go over the purple. So I'm basically just going to take a couple of strands from each section. Besides right here, it's purely white, which is going to be red and orange. But I mainly need to test strip the yellow over the purple the green and then the blue because I don't want it to turn out patchy or anything like that so I kind of just want to see how it's going to look so we are going to go ahead and test strip to see how the dye will turn out but his ears are so cute um you can see I need to just fix up the yellow and then I didn't get all the way to his roots but that's not a super big deal and he looks super cute <laughs> 